Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I uh, wanted to bring you a quick update on what's going on with the impeachment process if you haven't been keeping up with it. But I'd like you to know, if you hadn't noticed already, that Fox News actually has their own YouTube channel. So what I bring to you, most likely, you can find on YouTube. So I just wanted to let you know. When I was doing that video yesterday to update you for what had happened the night before, um, I somehow messed up when I clicked on the bar up here to get you the link. I copied, uh, instead of clicking copy, I clicked paste. Well, it messed the whole thing up and I had to go hunting for that one article. And there was article after article after article. I couldn't believe it because, you know, uh, they have updates every couple hours on this kind of thing. So it took me a while to find that so I could put the link in the, in the video. Well, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that if you really want to keep updated, now keep in mind you're getting mainstream media news. So you're not getting the whole picture. But, um... I did share with you the letter from Nancy Pelosi, right? Yeah, I remember because I took a, a snapshot of the t beginning of the letter that, that President Trump wrote. So that's in my lineup if you haven't seen it. Um, he just uh, really got on to her. Well, this particular one, I'm, I'm going to give you, and this is going to be my last update because you can go to the Fox News channel and get all the updates you want on what's going on according to Fox News. All right. I'm sure CNN and those guys, they have their own take on it. And you know, they're going to hear, you're going to hear their side and bashing the Republicans versus the Republicans bashing the Democrats. Okay, this one's called McConnell Rips Pelosi for Impeachment Delay, says Dems, the Democrats, afraid to transmit shoddy articles. Now, <laughs> They're afraid to transmit it. So, <laughs> McConnell it says, and you can watch the video right here if you go to the link. Mitch McConnell, the Democrats are setting toxic precedent with predetermined partisan outcome. Hmm. Speaking on impeachment, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says, House Democrats are conducting, quote, most unfair impeachment inquiry in modern history, unquote. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell set the stage Thursday. Hold on a minute. Is Mitch McConnell Democrat? Wait, if he is the... Senate Majority Leader. Okay. I got to I got to find out something real quick cuz usually they tell you is Mitch McConnell a Democrat. Defeat, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, U.S. Addison Mitchell McConnell is a, an American polit politician serving as Kentucky senior United States Senator. And as Senate Majority Leader, McConnell was known as a pragmatist and a moderate Republican 
early in his political career, but shifted to the right over time. So he, well, I mean, that sounds like he's now a hardcore Republican, right? Is that how you would take it? Why can't they just say Republican and let it be done at that? Or no? <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know politics very much, okay? Speaking on, let's see. I said that. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell set the stage. Uh, let's stop it. Okay. Thursday for a potentially bruising fight between the leadership of the two chambers over impeachment as he tore into Nancy Pelosi for shoddy work and said Dem Democrats may be too afraid to send articles to the Senate after the House Speaker abruptly <coughs> excuse me, held off on transmitting them. Okay, this particular House of Representatives has let its partisan rage, that means they're divided. Bipartisan means they're together on something. Okay, there has let its partisan rage at this particular president create a toxic new precedent that will echo well into the future, McConnell said on the floor, accusing Democrats of giving into temptation with their impeachment vote while challenging their handling of the articles in the aftermath. Looks like the prosecutors are getting cold feet, the Senate GOP leader mused. That GOP, if you don't know, is Grand Old Party, or AKA Republican. All right. McConnell's remarks came the morning after House Democrats voted to impeach President Trump for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress in relation to his July 25th phone call with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. All right. Which he has made totally plain when he called that Ukrainian president, this is something I learned yesterday, I think it was on WGON, Linda Kirby's channel, but I'm not sure. When he called that president, he had some on his side and some on their side, the Ukrainians, listen in. They all listened in to make sure there was nothing improper going on. He, they have no case. And if they impeach him over that, knowing that he's innocent of what they're saying, that he did this quid pro quo thing, oh, I'll give you aid if you'll do this for us. That never went on. It never happened, and he has witnesses that heard the conversation firsthand. Okay, let me move on. House impeaches Trump over Ukraine dealings as Pelosi floats holding up Senate trial. As Pelosi floats. Maybe that's putting out the idea of holding up the Senate trial. But that's one of them things with the long line under it. It's probably a link to another article. McConnell decried the effort for which no Republicans voted as, quote, the most rushed, least thorough, and most unfair impeachment inquiry in modern history, unquote. It taps into long-standing complaints by Republicans that the impeachment has trampled over minority rights in the House 
and that Democrats were pursuing an outcome they have preordained before Trump was even sworn into office. After an impeachment in the House, the articles are normally sent over to the upper chamber for an impeachment trial. Yet, in the latest twist, Pelosi has indicated that she may not send over articles of impeachment yet until she gets reassurances about the Senate process. Hmm. We'll, this is a quote. We'll make a decision, dot, 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 as we go along, unquote, Pelosi told reporters, adding that, quote, we'll see what the process will be on the Senate side, period, unquote. Now, doesn't that right there sound kind of fishy? She won't send over the papers, the articles of impeachment, for them to see what they're writing up until she gets reassurances about the Senate process. All right, moving on. She quotes, We have acted, unquote, Pelosi continued, repeatedly refusing to commit to sending the articles of impeachment to the Senate. Quote, now they'll understand what their responsibilities are and we'll see what that is, unquote. Pelosi insisted that Republicans would need to run a fair trial if the matter made its way to the Senate without explaining what exactly she was seeking. And there's a video here you can watch about that. Well, I'm going to leave it go with that because this is quite a bit longer. And so you, it's still battling back and forth. It's like a tennis match. And they keep coming to, what is it, love. You know, the word love, that means they both have the same score, right? <laughs> Maybe that's not a very good um, example. But anyway, they're battling back and forth. And this may go on longer than we thought. And hopefully it'll just end. And um, it won't happen. Huh. An actress was horribly burned in the fire. Well, you know, those actors and actresses for Hollywood, there's been um, fire cupping session gone wrong. Fire cupping. What is that? Is that where you're making a movie and an actress in China is recovering from trauma traumatic cupping incident? After the rubbing alcohol that was on her skin caught fire, leaving her with second degree burns. Oh, anyway, that's another story. I just was interested. All right, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over this video and over my computer and over the internet connection. And over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connection as well. And um, I don't know that I'll be making any more videos today. We'll see what's in my email. I have so many. I've got to get caught up. But if something good is in there that I think I feel urged to share, I will share it. Okay? With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.